Hi there, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, a wave cut platform. Hi there, I'm here today to talk to you about the formation of a wave cut platform. And the wave cut platform is an erosional landform and your case study for this one would be Southern Down. Southern Down is located in South Wales and again for your location perspective you can see that on the right hand side on the map identified in green. Now this diagram is going to talk us through how a wave cut platform forms. So we've got our cliff face here, we've got vegetation that's developing on top of the cliff face, and we've got our sea here. Now waves cause the most erosion at the foot of the cliff. Now this here is the foot of the cliff, okay? So the greatest rate of erosion is occurring at this point here. Now over time, these erosional processes start to remove some of the cliff face rock. So we start to get small indents within the cliff face rock. And over time, this process repeats itself over and over again, up until we get what we call a wave cut notch, which is just a notch or a, uh, a gap essentially in the cliff face that the sea has produced as a result of erosion. So we've got what we call a wave cut notch develop here. So this here is a wave cut notch and that has developed as a result of erosive processes at the bottom of the cliff, at the foot of the cliff. Now over time this wave cut notch results in this area of cliff face here becoming very very unstable. Okay, It becomes very unstable because it can't support its weight as well as it used to as a result of this wave cut notch. So as a result of that, the wave cut notch will eventually give way. So this wave cut notch will give way. It can't support the weight of all this rock on top of it, and it eventually gives way. So it eventually gives way so that the front area of the cliff collapses, the area above the wave cut notch collapses. And this collapsing results in the collapsed material falling to the bottom of the cliff up until the point that it's supported below. And you're left with what's happening what's actually occurring is, is, is the cliff is retreating. You're left with a retreating cliff face. So the cliff face is heading backwards in this direction because you've got erosion that's occurring here. You've got your wave cut notch that's developing here, resulting in this becoming unstable, resulting in this area collapsing, resulting in collapsed material sitting here and your cliff face retreating. So this process will continue over and over again. Now the sea and its erosional processes will eventually remove this collapsed material and upon removing this collapsed material, we go back to the first stage. We go back to another wave cut notch starting to establish. This wave cut notch establishes, the same process repeats again, and you get further cliff retreatal. So the cliff continues to retreat up until the point the cliff has fully retreated. Up until the cliff has retreated back by, you know, can be hundreds of metres a long way. And if we come down onto our, our, our diagram down here, we've got our material which is cleared by the erosion as a result of the erosional process by the sea. And we're left with what's termed as a wave cut platform. So if we look at this image, we can see our wave cut platform here. This area here is the wave cut platform. This used to be an area of cliff face that would have extended out to here. But as a result of erosional processes that we've just been through, as a result of that erosion at the cliff face, at the foot of the cliff, um, the wave cut notch developing, the collapsing of the cliff face, the washing away of the collapsed material and that process repeating over and over, you've got a cliff retreatal. This cliff face has retreated backwards away from the original coastline location back to its original, or sorry, to its current location that you can see on the image today.